all right so what is going on today youtube we are we are we are, we, are, we are doing pretty good man just got back from ARG las vegas uh did not set the world on fire but i did pretty decent um <clears throat> it, it, it was a fun event it was it was pretty cool um at first it, it was uh, like I said, i'm gonna tell you guys about my whole experience um so i guess we're gonna do the deck profile first and then i'm just talk about my experience there so <clears throat> as you can see i did play zombies and uh, that did pretty decent went five and three lost my last round uh, got 34th so i wasn't able to get the mat um but you know all in all i did have a lot of fun and it was very fairly competitive dueling very very fairly competitive dueling so I, I can't get mad at that anyway so we're going to start off one gozuki triple mizuki double spirit master and the reason why i'm playing double spirit master as you can see i do also play gold Sark and triple swallow slash and i do play desire so i don't want to like any other time i played one i banished all of them i mean i banished it i mean all of them <laughs> but i banished it with desires never had access to it or i'll draw one and then won't have access to it for swallow slash so i felt two was good two was actually really perfect it was really good uh, late games, I drew uh, like Spirit Master. Uh, they're still in the deck, stuff like that. You know, it was pretty cool. Goblinberg, the reason for Goblinberg is because um, I just want basically, I just want an extra monster to so you can do stuff with. Like, you know, when you activate Goblinberg, I mean, when you just normal summon solitary and you tribute off, you just left wide open. With Goblinberg, you at least have some defense, or you know, Goblinberg can you know actually get hit by whatever hand trap that you know you're trying to play around. Um, if they they want to max seal in here that's completely fine you're you can enter turn um they want to ash boston they have to ash boston this but i'm still left with a monster on board so i at least don't you know get hit with eight thousand. just have no defense but <clears throat> really goblinberg just sets off a lot of plays because if i goblinberg to a unit zombie and you ash the unit zombie it doesn't do anything because i can still discard from my hand and i'm gonna tell you guys about a play that i did with these two and it was just amazing um but yeah so Gottenberg, I felt like it was just an extra monster. If I go Gottenberg, go Zuki. Like I said, I can go and miss his Radiant. And like I said, I can get it back when it dies. And then Mizuki or, you know, whatever is set up in my graveyard is set up. Um, you can do this into this and set a Swallow Slash. You can do this into this and you can get some plays. You can do, like I said, this into this. And you can do some things with that. You can this into this. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to stop saying that. But you guys get my drift. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty, it's very good. Um, I was thinking Thrasher, but Thrasher is not an Earth, so... That's why I didn't play Thrasher. Um, also played one Goblin Zombie. Didn't set the world on fire, but, you know, it was cool. Triple Solitaire. Maxi, Triple Unizombie. I like playing three. Some people only play two. I, three is just for me. Um, especially with Goblinberg. Definitely want, you definitely want these as many as you can. You don't want to banish all of them with Desires. You don't want to use all of them early game. You definitely just want these. Uh, double Gold Stoker, Spectral Sword, and I know very eye popping three effect veilers yes they did work no i didn't ever i mean they, they were bad i guess I, I played one spiral i didn't play one spiral but it was against like i was playing against spirals and i had it but i also had a ghost ogre so when they activated resort just ghost ogre and then when they normal summon they got veilered and it was i'm telling you man you ever veiler somebody i'm telling you like if you ash blossom them they're you know they're cool because they're expecting it veiler hurts their fucking feelings um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you don't have these, definitely go pick this up. When Pendulums get their Electrum, um, when Isolde comes out, like for the what's the name? Uh, Isold, when Isolde comes out, it stops Isolde, it stops the Burning Abyss, it stops the Kira, like the Kairos, like it's, it's just an amazing card. And the fact that it negates the whole effect, trust me, you're going to want three Veilers. Go pick them up, highest rated you can. Um, you'll make some money. Um, but if you can't, there's some commons out for like two or three dollars. Go pick those up. up. Also, Foolish Burial, Double Desires. Desires never really did anything bad. I'm thinking about bumping up to three because it was just very important to start off with. Um, Gold Sark might bump this up to two. It's a very good card, even though I never drew it. So I can't really say how good it was, but I definitely want to. I know that for sure. Soul Charge, Rhoda, um, Book of Life. Book of Life was okay. When I, it was okay. Mostly it got sided out, but it was okay. Uh, double Cosmic Cyclone, cool, double Burial, and double Scapegoat. Scapegoat is just an amazing card, definitely. should play it while it's at two. I mean, it's at three, so <laughs> you might as well play it because I feel like it's going to get hit next. Probably it's gonna, probably going to get hit next next format, maybe. Maybe not, but I feel like it will. Um, and for the Traps Torrential, Bottomless Trap Hole, oh my god, you, don't, you guys don't understand how good this card is. Whew, I, I, I think people forget that it says Banish. It's 
Oh, God, so good. Triple Swallow Slash. Uh, was not expecting that many spirals. Uh, it was a fair amount of spirals, but this card was always good. Um, I think only played two or three spirals, I believe. I think only played two or three spirals. Maybe only two. But it was good all day. Um, I played mostly pendulums, so this is just good. And then one of each solemn because I was too lazy to get another one of the strike. Uh, on to the extra deck proxy. Mrs. Akashic Deco Talker only made Mrs. Radiant really. Everything else was just there to be there. A tornado made that, never made a Baguska. Stardust Charge Warrior, Zombie Skull, Black Rose, Double Omega, Scarlight, Crystal Wing, uh, Shogun Saga, and a Sun Saga, which I never made, but it's still necessary to be in the deck. Onto the extra deck, we got the Kaiju package, but I only played these three and Kaiju Slumber. I also played Delta because I felt like it was good to stop a spell, but I never played against a deck that was reliant really heavily on spells, so they never got sighted in. Hence, that's what I need to change about this um, side deck. Dark Hole, um, the F and I already talked about Kaiju Slumber, Triple uh, Spell Tiger Arrows, and Pendulums, and Mistake for pretty much every deck. And mistake was amazing. All right, so <clears throat> to start off, when I first got there, it was a little weird. A little weird. Um, did not like the whole thing. Like when I got there, it wasn't. It was. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't. I guess I'm glad it wasn't thirty dollars. Only twenty five dollars to get in. I thought it was thirty. Um, they literally had Dragon Ball Super Force. Where they had playing all the card games at once, which was a little weird. But I guess. Um, then they told us it was all going to be done in one day, which was once again a little weird, not really used to that. Um, so that was like, it was kind of off-putting. But overall, I did have a lot of fun because um, every match I played, except for probably one, was competitive. Um, and it was just, I like that. Like every, mostly every game went to three games. Um, when I lost, I went to three games. If I won, I either too old or went to three games. But yeah, never got too old. Like I said, it was always competitive back and forth. Like I said, man, I've just been playing some good Yu-Gi-Oh lately. Like real life Yu-Gi-Oh, I've just been playing some good Yu-Gi-Oh. Is I haven't been getting blown out like usually. Like usually, when I play against Sprouts, I just get blown out. But the the tell me, man, Valor is just so so good. Especially when they don't have Resort, it hurts their whole feelings. But yeah, um, overall, like the presentation and stuff, it was weird. It was only 150 people, and I heard like some people talking like they didn't even they didn't even know there was an ARG, and all this stuff like they didn't tell nobody in Vegas. Like it was it's just weird. Like I really wish the ARG can come you know back out here often, but they don't really make that much money coming out of here because it's such a low turnout for Yu-Gi-Oh. But Dragon Ball Super did do an amazing thing. And speaking of Dragon Ball Super, I definitely want to give a shout out to a what um, one of my homies he, he in a team called Good Game Nation underscore i think it's all at one level but like i said i'm gonna link it down below definitely go check them out subscribe tell them you know yeah uh, what's the name i said what's up or i tell them i sent you and stuff like that so if you're into dragon ball super uh you guys you know you got a channel out and stuff like that yeah they got a team out here uh some some shady shit happened at the arg it's one of the one of their homies got dq for some some dirty sleeves it, 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 it was weird but like i said go over there subscribe if you you know like dragon ball super or whatever the case may be subscribe to them good game nation underscore so it's all one us all together and then the underscore at the end definitely go check them out like i said it's good link is going to be in the description below so click that link subscribe tell them i sent you and yeah come back and watch this video or wait till after this video and then click it you know so amusement time um <clears throat> so yeah anyways uh on to the actual uh, you know actual event like i said it was a, it, it felt a little unprofessional Oh, yeah, and some other shady shit happened, but I, I, I may talk about that some other time, but, yeah, it was some other, like, crazy, like, it's crazy, like, it was, like, shit was really crazy. I might talk about that some other time, though. But anyways, on to the event. So, I start off going up against uh, Spiral. So, I win the die roll, I believe, and I end up winning game one. Um, forgot how I won it because I, I, I won it, though. That's all I know. I, I, I did win. <laughs> That's all I know. I won, but I don't know how I won. Uh, game two, it was just piss poor hand. It was it was horrible. It was Goblinberg, like double scapegoat. No, 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 that wasn't him. But it was something like that bad. Like I kept this in, which I definitely noticed after round one. I never did it again. I kept this in going game round to a uh, game two against Spirals because I thought 
you know, maybe I can catch him off guard. Maybe he won't draw a resort. Terrible, 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 folks. Don't ever do that. Kept this in, drew it. I drew a kaiju and a goblin bird. Yeah, that should tell you how good my hand was. It was, it was, it was, it was atrocious, but it was still a back and forth game, surprisingly, until he decided to beat me. So yeah, that was that. Um, and then round three, I, I can't ask for a better hand. So my opening hand, my opening hand was Goblin Bird, Unizombie, Mizuki, Mistake, and a Scapegoat. Right? Busted. So I normal summon Goblin Bird, get the Unizombie, activate the effect to dump. What does he have? You guys already know, Ash Blossom. Once again, that is fine. Oh yeah, in game one, he Ghost Reaper me, and I burial back my two. <laughs> what's the name? I, I, it was crazy. Like I started for Gozuki, activated Soul Charge. I mean, I was Gozuki send Solitaire, Soul Charge for Solitaire tribute. Get the Unit Zombie, dump Mizuki, and then he Reaper me for my Omegas, and then I banished for Mizuki, special summon Solitaire, and then I burial back my two Omegas and the Mizuki. Put the Soul Charge and burial back in the deck, and yeah. That's how I won game one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, anyways, game three. Um, like I said, I open up Mistake, Scapegoat, Goblinberg, Unizombie, and Mizuki. I'm like, oh, this game is can, like this game is completely over. Go into this. He ashes the effect. Fine. Discard Mizuki out of my hand. Go into Omega. Then I banish Mizuki to get the Unizombie back. So, I want to put... Because you already seen Swallow Slash. So, I want to put, in fe I want to put the fear in him that... You know, I have a Swallow Slash set, so... And then also just wanted to return something with Omega. But yeah, I definitely wanted to put the fear in him that I have Swallow Slash set, so he would do some dumb plays. So, I go Mizuki for Unizami Descent, set mistake, and scapegoat. Shouldn't lose, right? He starts off, right? He has five cards because he did Ash Boss on me. Activate Spiral Resort. Flips the mistake. He activate Agent. Misses. Normal summons Agent, right? Foolish Burial. So he's left with two cards in his hand. I activate Omega. I hit the Ash Blossom on his hand, and guess what the last card in his hand was? Foolish Burial of Belonging. So he Foolish Burials, tough, and then he Foolish Burial Belongings, the trap card, and then he pops him on the stake, and then he basically comes back from there. Then um, <clears throat> he drops the sleeper and stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, so I have the scapegoat, but he gets rid of all of that. I go, I draw into a Spell Shining Arrow, so I get my Omega back, right? And I activate Spell Shining Arrow. That was probably the worst play I did all day. Yeah, it was the worst play I did all day because all he had to do was chain sleeper and pop like chain sleeper to my spell shining arrow and he could have got rid of my Omega for free, but he didn't do it. So I guess that was a mistake, a misplay on his part, a misplay on my part. So I go into battle phase, try to attack it to a sleeper. He pops tough, he pops my Omega. That's completely fine. And then I believe I end my no, I set a monster, tell him to go. He goes, he attacks with Deco Talk and then attacks me directly. I'm down to 52, he's down to 7,000 because like I said, I spell shining arrow, his resort and the uh, equipped. He tells me to go. I believe he's no, he doesn't set. He tells me to go. Um, I draw into a solitaire normal summon. He says, Well, yeah, I got to. So he he sleepers, pops itself, pops my solitaire, sleeper blows the board, he gets a tough back out, he draws for turn. He didn't draw anything. He attacks with 19. So I'm down to 3,300. Um, I think I did my math wrong. No, I'm, I'm down to 30, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm down to 30. Oh, shit. I took an extra thousand off my life. Wait, did I? No, no, no. I did it right. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to 33. Okay, so. I'm down to 33. And he sets one back row. One card in hand. One back row and a tough on the board. So I draw. Draw the plot of desires. I'm like, oh, God. All right, so here we go. If I get ass, it's going to hurt my feelings. So I activate Pot of Desires. He doesn't have anything. I draw into a, a Spirit Master and a Mizuki. So I'm looking. I'm looking at my Banish. I didn't Banish. I only banished one Mizuki. That's kind of sucked, but I have one in hand. So worst case scenario, I have to send the one. For, I mean, I have to ditch the one from my hand. So uh, I draw I draw Spirit Master Mizuki. Normal Summon Spirit Master. Activate the effect. And you know what the last card in his hand is? Maxi. I'm like, oh, God. All right. Well, I'm like, here... I said it's do or die. So I'm thinking, I get to Solitaire, and I'm sitting here thinking, how can I get game? So I'm thinking, I'm like, he got 7,000. I said, I know I can do it. I said, fuck. I said, I need a Spirit Master Banish. I told myself that, right? I'm thinking, man, I need to get Spirit Master Banish so I can get it back with Solitaire. So I start my turn. I start my play, tribute off Solitaire. And the moment I did that, I realized I fucked up. And he, he was like a pro player, so... 
like a, he was a sponsored player. So I was like, oh, God. I knew once I did that, I lost, I lost the game. So I just did my play. I ended up just going into uh, Unizombie dumping um, the two-star and then Synchron into Shogun Saga just, just to do 45, 45, and just do 45 just to see if maybe, you know, that ends up saving me, you know, what happens next. He, he has four cards, so he just ends up going double healings, getting a tough back out, popping, and then that was the end of the game. So if you guys are wondering why I messed up, it's because I had I had a way to put 79 on board. Uh, so anyways, the play when I got the solitaire back, I was supposed to tribute this, right? So I would attribute this to get the units on view. And the reason why I didn't do it is because I, I felt like he had Ash Blossom in his hand. He said he drew it off the second special summon. So, I mean, I wasn't technically wrong. But anyways, since I was going for broke, if he had it, he had it. There's no way I was winning if I did the other play anyway. So um, I might as well should have went for it. But what I should have did was tribute Spirit Master. Special summon Unizombie. Unizombie dumps Gozuki. Gozuki banishes Spirit Master to special summon the Mizuki from my hand. And then Spear Master will pop his tough. And then I will Synchro Unizombie and Solitaire to go into a Shogun Saga. Banishing Gozuki as Chainlink 1. And then Solitaire triggers bringing this back. So that would have been 15, 17, and 47. And 47 plus 32 is 79. And I would have beat him. I'm going to start off my day right. But I attributed off my Solitaire. And it was the worst decision I made all day. And yeah, end up losing. So... But, I, you know, at least I learned a cool combo. Round two, going up against the Pendulums. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty rough the first game. The first game, he, he, he really got me. Um, he flipped the time pendulum graph like, during my standby phase. So I already knew that he had the what's the name down there. But I couldn't, I couldn't get around that. So, there's nothing really I can do. He had the scolding. He had the time pendulum graph. Um, I really need to start drawing, you know, I need to add more back row destruction. So I guess I could take out Book of Life to add a third Cosmic Cyclone. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, game one, I end up losing. Game two, I end up smashing him. Uh, game three, does the same play pretty much. And he pretty much has, uh, he pretty much has another scolding, which is, you know, which is fine. But then I end up Black Rose in the field, setting warning. And then from there, he can't come back. End up beating him, so I guess the scolding did not work out too much for him. But you know, it's cool. We're going on with one one round three. We're going up against Pend again. And um, first game, my God, did I you open up six monsters? Uh, no, no. In this game, I open up Goblinberg double scapegoat, and I, I tried to try my hardest, but I could not stop the pendulum onslaught. There's nothing I can do. Couldn't get around it. Game two. I end up winning. Open up the warning with an Omega. That's pretty. You, you're getting you're getting pretty far in the head. Um, he Ash Blossom my unit on me twice, but I still was able to keep going and make an Omega. Uh, and then game three, it, it's Pendulum, so I just can't do anything. He has time Pendulum graph. He just he just do real good. Um, I do decent. It was a back and forth for a little bit, but I was like, you know what? I, I can't win. There's no reason to waste time. So he ended up beating me, you know, fair enough. He, he got the victory and stuff like that. Round four, I go up against Frogs. And I said, this is the only non-competitive game of the day. And the only reason it was non-competitive is because she didn't really, she didn't really open up anything. And the, the stuff she did open up, I pretty much countered. Uh, she summoned Blue Boy. I activate Omega, hit the knowledge out of the hand. She had three cards in the hand and she said three, but end up Black Rose in the field next turn. And like I said, from there, nothing. And then, you know, game two, she opens up set set one set three i think or set four yeah set three she has skill drain but i already have a spirit master and grave with a gozuki on board so you guys already know how that works like i said she didn't really get going so there's nothing really she could do about it like i said that was the only non-competitive one but you know i that was just the luck of the draw i guess but yeah so i two end up two and on her and i end up moving to a uh, round five with a two and two record round five i go against pendulums again um, let me see. How did this work? <clears throat> um, I forgot how this one went, but I end up winning. I, I, I do know that. <laughs> I end up winning. Um, I forgot how it, it happened, but I end up winning. I think it was a little back and forth game, but I end up winning either 2 old or 2-1 or something like that. But yeah, that was, uh, that was cool, I guess. Yeah, that was, it was a pretty, pretty cool match. 
Um, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that, that was a uh, that was that one. Uh, round six, I go against another pendulum, um, and uh, oh, I know what happened in this one. Uh, so I go first. I set Swallow Slash with a you know Goblin Zombie. He goes, sets his scales, activates star, the Star Pendulum Graph, the the spell one, and I Icarus Attack, and um, he chains Waver Eyes, and I'm like, okay, I think yeah, I think that's what he does. Yeah, he chains Waver Eyes. And from there, he doesn't really have anything because Waver Knights isn't that good in the, the new magicians. So it ended up winning from there because I did grab a solitaire and end up OTK. And then round two, I mean, duel two, uh, more of the same. He goes into the Tornado Dragon, but I draw, uh, you know, I draw a spell chatting arrow. And uh, yeah, he can't really come back from there. So I end up winning. Um, round seven, going up against Spirals. I win the die roll. Open up, you know, bottomless. Oh wait, all right, there we go. All right, I was about to say, what happened? Oh, okay, right. End up opening up bottomless, which was just, oh, it's just too good. Um, so I end up going omega, right? I think I go, I think I go two omegas in this one. I think I go two omegas. Um, then he normal summons tough, gets bottomless, and in, in, ends his whole damn turn. Um, <laughs> and then after that, uh, it go, we go back and forth. End up beating him. It didn't really take too long. Uh, round two, he starts off with drone, activates super agent Maxi, and I'm like, all right, all right, and he ends his turn, ends his turn. I draw into a positive, activate positive desires, and then from there, I just, I just, I just destroyed him because I uh, ghost over his resort. He tried to normal some quick fix, got Baylor. It, it was bad. Like he, the Maxi pretty much stopped him in his tracks. Um, I don't blame him, but sometimes man, you just gotta go for it, especially since he was playing spirals. But I understand why he stopped. Oh, he yeah, he stacked my deck with drone. So yeah, I already told you he summoned drone. But yeah, he stacked my deck with drone, so he knew what I was drawing. So that's the reason why he didn't want to do it because it would pretty it wouldn't have ended right because I would have drew ghost ogre and he would have got ghost ogre. And that would not have been good for him. So yeah, um, that was that. So I'm moving on round eight. I'm feeling pretty good, really pretty good. <clears throat> Go. He wins the die roll. He starts off right, and you know what happens? He goes scale. He goes, uh, scale up, pendulum summons two avions. Goes tornado dragon, pops his double iris, um, gets a trap, sets another scale, and ends his turn. Yeah. Um, but I actually had a diverse hand. I had foolish burial. I also had spirit master. I had book of life. I had gold sark, but the one that he, he banished with omega. No, wait. Oh, wait, that was game three. Game three, he did that. Game, yeah, game one, he just dropped double Avion, couldn't do nothing. Game two, I actually end up winning. Game three is when he does the double Omega play, banishes my Gold Sark, and then during my turn, uh, he uses Omega to put Gold Sark back to the graveyard. And then, like, I have bottomless, at, like I had a good diverse hand, but that end up uh, then he uh, as summon Solitaire, he ends up activating. Uh, he activated another Omega, hits the bottomless out of my hand. So then I go into a uh, <clears throat> I go into a black rose play flip dimensional barrier, and then like from there, I mean I, I was stalling as much as I can, um, but he just ended up beating me and he ends up top 16 in. Uh, he actually got 13. So yeah, that's pretty much how my uh, day went. A uh, couple of things I did learn. Number one, I definitely have to change my side deck. The Deltas did not do anything. The Kaijus, um, I don't think I would change the Kaijus, but I definitely would put something else besides the Deltas. I need more back row removal for Pendulums because that is my, this like, it always burns me when they have back row um, and I just can't get over it. But yeah, Deltas would definitely come out. Um, definitely saw that to Swallow Slashes and stuff like that because, yeah, man, just don't want to do that. And then um, also, I keep forgetting what i want for uh, what what, did I, what was i supposed to learn i i forgot it was, it was something else but i can it completely blanked on me but i, I should have wrote it down actually but yeah man um i also learned that uh what was it it was something else uh, oh yeah also learned that maybe zombie world just needs to be main deck because it was times where i couldn't do nothing because i couldn't attack because of unit zombie and we don't have that many strong zombies so Something needs to be done to where we need to we can get a monster we can attack with. Shogun Saga is cool, but it doesn't really solve anything. Um, we can't play Revenge Reds, uh, Reds because they just it is awful right now. 
um, hopefully the new support is, is able to get me somewhere but all in all man I had I had a lot of fun man like I said the presentation of ARG was very off-putting but when I got to dueling man that was that was amazing man I, I just I can't I, like I said I can't I'm not mad at any of my losses um, the only one I'm kind of mad at is the one I could have won but like I said it was a great duel back and forth I cannot get mad um, that I lost um, but yeah man they, everything else was fun it was very competitive and it wasn't like I didn't get ashed 17 times I think that's the reason why it was fun I did get ashed a couple times but like I said I didn't get ashed so many times where I couldn't play um, so I mean that was good like it was just good back and forth like they did have hand traps but it was I just think I got asked, but like I said, it, it didn't wasn't it wasn't really game breaking as it was before. Before, when they ash either pre prep or they ash my solitaire, it was just I couldn't do nothing. With this deck, we have so many different plays. We also have scapegoat that can recover. Um, we have swallow slash that can get us back in the game. Ghost Ogre, effect Veiler. Man, it was just fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that. And um, yeah, man, if you guys have any suggestions or stuff or what I should cut or you know. Anything else? Expect, uh, look out for another discussion video on Friday. I have a, a very controversial one for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, hope you guys have a nice day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click an ad. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.